Time is a funny thing. One day you're a little girl running fast toward an unknowable future. And then suddenly you're an adult, not sure of who you are and what you're doing. You want to go back to a time when things were simple. What if you could? Maybe we go back to see ourselves as younger people. Still us, but different. I've discovered that the clock in here is more important than the clock out there. The clock that stops when a moment is beautiful as if the universe understands you're trying to hold on. What if I told you that you could go back, but it wouldn't change the future? Maybe we go back anyway, just to remember. To try and hold on to those moments. What if you could? Would you? Hey, do you guys want a yearbook photo? Just to... You gotta take the shot, man. They always say no unless you give them a reason to say yes. Uh, okay, uh, I, I don't know you. But I know that you are using an internal light meter. 
can't trust us. They're just not as reliable. No one else in yearbook really cares about the quality except me. Can I see that? Yeah. It's a starter camera. I'm gonna swap it out for a better body. How's your prom? Good? It's great. It's awful. It's over. Um... Everything okay? I'm all good. No, you're not. Looks like you're going nuclear. Are you someone's mom? That would mean that I had a kid at like 12. Guess not. I take it that was your prom? Yeah. Arabian Nights. I think our theme was something like under the sea. <laughs> We're either mermaids or belly dancers. Some grade A sexist bullshit, in my opinion. You know, it doesn't really matter what year it is or who attends. This prom is every prom. Except this prom is supremely worse because I got dumped at prom. You're dateless on prom. It's gotta be a girl. Maybe she said no. Maybe she came with some other guy. She didn't say no. Because you didn't ask. I'm not talking about her. Oh, I'm gonna tell my old ass friends. There's nothing to say. She's not into me. She's with some other hack. Huh. You know, it only gets worse from here. Much worse. This, you know what you're feeling now? It gets multiplied by 10 when you're 34 and you're not the hot young thing anymore. But that's not you. You don't have to worry about that yet. Have a good night. You too. So you're the nice guy in this story. You say that like it's a bad thing. No, no, no it's not a bad thing. Yeah, but what you're trying to say is that it's not a good thing. No, 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 you're just overthinking the whole thing. They, women and girls, they don't want nice. They want someone extraordinary. They don't want a hug. They want a punch in the fucking heart. You got that? You got it. There's my friend. I'll see ya. I'll get the same, and her serious put it on mine. Does your husband know that you're here alone? Did you see the kids? Yeah, I just saw her. Yeah, I saw him too. Remember what it was like to be that young? My memory's a little hazy, you'll have to remind me. So there was this guy that I dated once in high school. And he turned out to be a colossal jerk, but <sighs> there was this allure about him. The kind of quality that just drew you in against your will. I mean, he sounds perfect, but I know that this story doesn't have a good ending. Mm -mm. As I discovered, we were entirely incompatible. And so you looked at him and you saw a future that you didn't want. He could have grown up and turned out to be amazing, and I'd never know it, because at the time, he was Mr. Wrong. Well, I feel sorry for this guy. Yes, of course you do. I'm not the victim here. I just got my heart stomped on repeatedly. Yeah, well, I'm sure that wasn't easy for him. You know, either. actually, I doubt that he ever lost one night's sleep over our breakup. Over anything, over me. I over lost us. hundreds of nights of sleep over us. God, you know, I walked into that one, didn't I? I should have seen that coming. Liz, I should go. Liz, don't do this. Liz. Thank you for the drink. Stop. Liz. Where have you been? Everybody's upstairs by now. 
I'm going home. I'm out. I'm over prom. Uh, no, you're not. You're coming with me to the after party. Oh, no, you're gonna I... be like the one person who doesn't show up. You really, <laughs> really don't want to be that person. Dave's gonna be there. I'm, I'm totally fine. Oh being my that god. Person. Okay, stop. Stop. Am I seriously hearing this noise? If you don't show up, he has won. Congrats, you ruined your night. And you call yourself a feminist or? What am I supposed to do? You swagger into that party. Swagger? Yes. The swagger is essential. And you drop the mic and then you let everybody see that mic for what it is. You get to have your fun. Dave feels stupid. And that's that. Dropping the mic, what is that? You drop it. I don't know what that means. Low. Come on. Oh my god. What you just It's game time. I don't have a choice, do I? Nope. No, you don't. And you can't no, bring that with you either. Dude, they totally just checked us out. They weren't even looking at us. Look, man, I don't need your negativity. Okay, I need hope. It's gonna happen for me tonight. I can feel it. Mm hmm. Well, prom is a scam. You have the entire summer to get laid. No, dude. No, I'm running out of time. You see this suit? That suit? Yeah, it's a pretty nice suit. Yeah, yeah, it's going down. Come on, let's go. So they've been together a grand total of maybe two hours. Hey. Hi. So, um, what are you guys doing this summer? Oh, my parents are making me go on birthright. Oh, oh that's cool. It's not really a cause for celebration, but I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I'm going to be backpacking across Europe. London, Milan, Barcelona, all over the place. So. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> I really chose. I'd kill to go. When are you thinking about going? Still making plans. Yeah, I don't know. What are you doing this summer? Just this photo journalism program. Wait, so we're graduating and you're going back to school? It's not school. It's not. I, I don't know if I got in yet. Well, that was the worst prom of all time. And the biggest waste of time. No, 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 absolutely not. You guys always pick the worst pictures for yearbook. There's actually not a single picture of you in the yearbook. Eject. Well, that doesn't give you a license to take pictures of whoever you want. OK, sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Liz! Oh. What is this about? Really? Argentina. I thought we agreed that we wouldn't talk about it. Well, I don't know. Our, Maybe our, I do want to talk about it. We were on a break. The situation was this. An opportunity presented itself to you and you took it. You can't just say you want space and then just use it against me. You know what, this is gonna blow your mind right what? now, but the whole universe doesn't revolve around you. It doesn't? Oh, you know what, I take that back. Your ego definitely has a gravitational pull. I say hi, I buy you a drink, and then all of a sudden the walls go up. The Great Wall of Elizabeth. I would have to say that you, miss, are the worst. No. You're the worst. I'm the worst. You're the worst. All right, good night. You don't have all the facts about what no, happened. No, no, this isn't about facts. No, this is about feelings. And my feeling right now is somewhere between nauseous and more nauseous. 
Listen, Nauseous, I have something really cool to show you. Did you hear anything that I just said? Yes, I, I know, but I have something really cool to show you. Come on. I'm not going I'm gonna anywhere. do this really cool thing by myself. I'm not gonna go over there. It's just over here. No, it's really cool. Really? Yes, come on. Good luck, have fun. Come on, just follow me. Have a great night. It's, it, just please come with me, look. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm just gonna walk into traffic. Oh, that I'm might be the smartest traffic. thing that oh, you have done car. all night. Go oh! for it. Go for it, Drew. Oh! Do it, get hit by a car. I'm gonna get hit by a car. Do it, I dare you. If you don't come, that's it. Oh, you're so yes. stupid. Yes, bon voyage life. You should really be careful. All right, hey, hey, come on. It's super cool, let's go. Let's go. Where? Just across the street. Please come with me. Please. Oh, nice, let's go. Let's I'm not run. running. Let's run, get on my back. You're not going to want to remember any of this. What is this? Stop looking at him. Okay, he is a train wreck. Just forget his ass and come dance with me. I thought you were gonna be one wingman. I, I will, but it's just something I gotta do first. You gonna talk to your girl crush, huh? No, it, it's nothing, never mind. Go for it, man. said it's me. I'm coming! What the hell, Andy? What do you want? You're not using it. But what if someone died of their bladder exploding? Well, that's their problem then. Hey, did you notice that that room is like really small and there are a lot of people and there's definitely less air to breathe? Are you going like spontaneously combust? It's a breathing exercise. Can I ask you something? How come you talk to me like we didn't ride our bikes every day when we were eight? Because we're not eight anymore. But you're still the same girl. <laughs> That's where your dad wrong. You know, Dave is kind of a loser. He's, he's got like the IQ of a fat squirrel. Do you have a problem with him? Yeah, he shoved me inside my own locker freshman year. That never happened. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. The point is, I don't need some personal tragedy to tell me that Dave Pierre's a total douchebag. Well, I'm not dating him anymore, so it's not like it matters. It, it does matter, though, because you dated him at one point. FYI, fat squirrels are definitely smarter than Dave, and I would know that from personal experience. <laughs> That's the B I know. Shut up. <laughs> we should probably go back out there. You're welcome to go. You're welcome to go. Ladies first. This night is just absolutely horrid. All right, go for it. Oh, how did you convince them to let you in here? I told them that I needed a really special place to propose to my girlfriend. Oh, very clever. Um, it's sad when they close these places down. It's like 
Ghost theater. Ghost people watching ghost movies. Huh. Everything has its time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's my lucky number. It's not where you sit, but who you sit next to. I remember that first summer. I wanted to see The Big Lebowski, but you insisted on seeing Buffalo 66. You told me you loved that movie. I did. Oh, you were so bent out of shape because you wanted to see the Coen brothers. Honey, you always want to see these movies that no one ever heard of. Well, I like underdogs. Or foreign films, like without the subtitles. Oh. And the best part was sitting in the back row and making up all the dialogue, and you made everybody out to be like this mobster. You were always saying stuff like, come here, little lady. <laughs> come shoot my tummy gun. <laughs> and I was so busy putting as many profane words into their mouths oh, as possible. Oh, profane is an understatement. Well. Saving Private Ryan three times. There's that, that line where he says to his wife, he says, tell me I've lived a good life. Tell me I'm a good guy. Kills you. <laughs> I looked over at you and you were just crying the whole time. That's when you knew. That's when I knew what? That you wanted to kiss me. <laughs> What about this one? The five and a half hours between here and Palo Alto. All that time I spent sitting in a car, waiting, and all the time that I spent not seeing you versus the time that I actually did. What you don't remember, but I do, is that the minute you came in the house, you were so happy that you made it that you forgot everything else. Oh, no. I just didn't want to make you feel guilty for making me drive up there. The happier the memory, the more unlikely it is that you'll remember okay. it. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> you know, you know, I could tell you a story or you could tell me one or we could just go our separate ways and call it a night. Hey, you're in your book, right? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. Can you take our picture? No. Come on, McFarley, just take it. It's, it's McFarland. Whatever, dude. Just do it. Hey, I'm gonna go, but thank you. We're just friends. Whatever, man. She's not all that. You know, how about I take your picture? I, I just forgot. I didn't. I didn't bring the right film for douchebags. What? Oh, I said I didn't bring the right film to expose for douchebags. <laughs> Dude, oh, what happened? Such a jerk, Dave. Take your girlfriend and get out. Great. That was awesome. Ow. This is a hurt. It's just not broken. Here. Tilt your head back. Does that feel better? Oh, it's great, thanks. You know, congratulations, you pissed off everyone inside there. Fuck. It's true, he's an asshole, who cares? You screw all of them. Well, I'm sorry, some of us aren't going to Palo Alto. Some of us are stuck here with those assholes for all of eternity because some of us didn't get into Stanford or an out of state school or pretty much anywhere. I thought you were backpacking across Europe. I lied, I'm stuck here. Why would you lie about that? What do you think I'm doing this summer? I'm working concessions at the new Beverly. That's what I'm doing. That's the big secret. Do it. No. Do it. I don't even have a change of clothes with me. Are you really that scared? I mean, it's not even that deep. You know I can't swim. I'll save you if you start to drown. I mean, I've done it before. 
Jesus Christ. I thought you quit that. I did. Does he know about this? Are we still doing that? Maybe he feels responsible. As far as vices go these days, smoking is practically vintage. He has worse. Hmm. Like what? Pride, for one. Oh, and um, selfishness. Sometimes it gets the best of him. And what would he say about her? What do you think he'd say? Oh, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. Because that's, I can't even win with that question. Well, if you don't have anything negative to say, I'd be pleased to hear I it. I just know not to engage. Mm. And I enjoy picking fights, yeah. according to you. Yeah, there's something that I want to say. Yeah, I, I, I know that I've let you down in the past, and I'd like to make it up to you somehow. You only get one prom. You get as many proms as you want. Let's make tonight prom, the real prom. Let's make the best fucking prom anyone's ever seen. There's no reason for you not to try. That's such a silly idea. But is it a bad one? How do you propose we do this? Let me think. You trust me? I've done it before and it only gets me into trouble. Then let's cause some trouble. What? Let's cause some fucking trouble. You're it! <sighs> Drew. You're supposed to chase me. Ch chase me! Come on! Jesus Christ. You being here this summer isn't such a bad thing. Don't you have somewhere else that you can be? You know, I really don't need you here trying to make me feel better. Can I see that? It's complicated. It doesn't have autofocus or anything like that. Probably figure it out. I just want to see it. I don't break it again. The shutter's broken. I will give it. I'm not going to win. Well, congratulations. You've made me an outcast. I'm on your level now. On my level. Dissect that for me. You choose to be a misfit. You enjoy sequestering yourself in your tiny little intellectual tower so that way you can stare down on us peons. Yeah, that's a choice word. I liberated you from those stuck-ups. In 10 years, they're all gonna be working as janitors at our high school. All of them. There were like 40 people at that party? It'll be a really clean high school. What? Your nose is bleeding again. There you go. Why, oh, thank you. Is that better? Fantastic. Must have been in a freaking coma to have been dating Dave. Okay, Dave was actually a nice guy. A nice guy. That, that's, that's your standard. <laughs> nice and prone to extremely violent outbursts. Okay, I don't want to talk to you about this right now. I'm not going to. <gasps> Fine, don't. I won't? Hi. Hi. Your nose looks funny. Shut up. You shut up. I have to go to the bathroom. Me too. 
Dave got all weird about me being with Andy. Andy called Dave an asshole. Dave punched him in the face. I gasped. Everyone gasped. And then we got kicked out of the party. Now I'm here. I think he likes you. What? No. We, me and him, we're not, we're not dating. No. <laughs> you know, I used to be a lot like you. Always convincing myself that I didn't care when I did. And I did care. But I was constantly hiding it. You know, there's a lot of heartache in that. Would you do anything different? I don't know. It was unavoidable. And the part that you don't understand is that you don't get to choose to be hurt. You just are. I get that. <laughs> I do. So who's that guy out there? Yeah, it's useless. I can't hear anything. Probably just discussing the differences between boys and men. Wait, how do you know that? I wasn't being serious. Is that the girl you were telling me about? She's cute. Real Why are cute. you so fascinated with my non-existent love life? Because you remind me of me when I was growing up. A little shit running around like you knew everything when you didn't know anything. You're hilariously bad at this too, so you need all the help you can get, buddy. I don't need your help. I think you're right. I think, I think it does get better. I just haven't lived that long yet. If you could see yourself in five or ten years, you'd have a different outlook. You seem really certain about my future, which is kind of creepy. All I'm saying is that you don't get to be so cynical. Not yet, at least. No one's gonna wait around for you to figure out how you feel about them. Ever. You don't have to like me to know that I'm right, but I'm right. I don't even know if I like you. I don't know if I like you either. Let's go. Ooh, how was girl talk? You gonna fill me in on the secrets? I taught her how to throw a right hook. Do you want me to show you? Um, keep your secrets to yourself. I'm good. So where's this prom that you were talking about, huh? You really need to step it up. It's here. Great. It's broken. Can you hurry up and pick something already? You can't make an image. There's no light hitting the lens. Without a working shutter, this thing's just an overpriced piece of junk. It's just a camera. It is not just a camera. This is a relic of, of how things used to be. People used to have to stop and, and look at their surroundings. They had to give a shit. Anyone can take 15 photos in a row. What does that say about the art? You're being a little romantic. What's the alternative? The alternative is being a cynic like me. You don't get disappointed by anything because everything's already disappointing. How old are you? 90. It's been hard. <laughs> Looks like a great place for a wedding. If only people knew that marriage was the start of a long, brutal journey of tolerating the person they're with. Speaking from experience? Maybe you'd fared better? No, I would just have lower expectations. That's how I stay happy. Congratulations on settling. No, I, I, I just I expect someone to wash dishes, do the laundry, watch a movie, and have sex with. Semi-regularly. At least that's what most other guys think. It's a lot more than that. In reality, the day-to-day, -day, that's it. But you want romance, earth-shattering, life-changing. It should be. And sometimes it is. And most times it's not. You want your royalty on a white steed? I was royalty in another universe. Should have just taken his picture like he asked. I didn't need you to fight him for me. I didn't fight him for you. I just told him the truth. And look how that went. It's great. Broken camera. Punch to the face. The truth always wins. Mm -hmm. If not now, then 
in the future. Check this out. Right. Physics. You dig that kind of stuff. Just because you don't doesn't mean that you can't appreciate the amazingness of this. I'm, I'm impressed. You should be. What is cool about it is that these forks are actually defying their natural inclination to move towards the Earth. They are defying gravity. The laws of physics are being challenged at this table tonight. Excuse me. Oh. French fries for you and pancakes with gin. Enjoy. This next year is going to be such a waste of my life. You could think about it in a little bit more of a positive way. Just in okay. general. Please enlighten me. Well, for starters, the, the French fries are above average. The ambiance here is nice. Our waiter was fantastic. He wasted no time filling our glasses. There's a lot going for this moment. Okay. Okay, Mr. Positive. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is what? It's my favorite song. You should try this. deny this song. You know this song. No, way past this my prime. No, 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 no. Think of it as fun. You still know how to have fun, don't you? No, I can't dance, and I'm not gonna dance. I'm not. I don't know what you think you're doing. You're a little old and rusty, but I don't think you're beyond saving. <laughs> please. I can teach you. Please don't teach make you. me dance. Stiff, kind of like a porcupine. But you are a porcupine. King of the porcupines. Yeah. Yeah. You've really been working on this. Sneaking out evenings and weekends. Mm -hmm. So that's where you've been. One more stop, I promise. See the pool from here. Something to print in your memory. That's it. That's all you're gonna give me. I can't help you if you don't tell me what's going on. It was a good prom. It just doesn't solve anything. That's the end of the story. I'm just gonna throw in the towel. This isn't one of your stories, Drew. Do you think that coming back here is just gonna solve everything and make it all better? Liz, I don't know what to do. 
I don't know where to go. I, I feel like I've tried everything and you're not happy. Drew, I don't trust you anymore. You don't trust me? You, like, you never trust me or you don't trust me? I don't trust you and I thought that I would. You don't trust me. You know what? You're never gonna change. People don't change. They don't, you know? Maybe they um, mature a little, maybe their beliefs shift, but they don't change. Deep down, they're always gonna be exactly the same and you are never gonna change. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I tried. I came here and I wanted to remember why we fell in love. But I didn't see it. I didn't. This whole thing was such a stupid idea. Coming back here? God, it was so stupid. Because this is just too hard. Marriage is supposed to be hard. Do you want to know what's hard? Waking up every morning and being alone while you're out doing whatever it is you do. I wake up to an empty bed. I make breakfast. I sit across the table from no one because I'm completely alone. Where are you? You know what makes me lonely? Is when I come home and I come home to see you and you're not there. Being with somebody. That's what you don't understand. I'm there waiting for you. You're not here. I have a question for you. How alone were you in Argentina? Why does this, why, like why, why does this always come back to Argentina? Because like, why? that's when I stopped trusting you. That's when I stopped trusting you, Drew. You made me feel like the most alone I have ever felt in my entire life. And I don't think that you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's just a word. Sorry. Drew, that's all I'm it is. I'm feeling it. I'm sorry. I'm, that is I'm, not I'm, enough for me. Words, I, I, words are not enough. enough. But you're enough for me. That's it. You're I'm enough done. for me. I can't do this you're anymore. You're enough for me. I'm done. Liz, Liz, you're right. People don't change. You don't trust me, but you never trust me. You never let me in your walls. You don't change, and you never trusted me, and you never gave me a chance. I don't want to be married anymore. Great, we both agree on that. I don't want to be married. You don't want to be married. We're not married anymore. Everyone's happy. I'm happy. Fuck! Why is this next year the worst year of your life? I already told you. Some of your friends are staying in town. That's not the point. It's about going someplace different. I could be someone new, you know, be someone better. When I was 11. I had my whole life mapped out until I was 40. I had this big plan. And now that I'm staying here, I just don't know anymore. You ever think you could just let it go? What exactly does that mean, let it go? The future, not worry about it. Is that what you do? I try. It's not that simple. What if it was? Just because you make it look easy doesn't mean it is. Well, just because I make it look easy doesn't mean that it is. Doesn't mean you can't do it. Maybe I'll try it sometime. Come on, I'm gonna try something. No, you're weird. Come on, get up. Mm. What are you doing? I used to do this all the time before SAT prep. I'm gonna look like a moron. We'll be morons together. I don't know. If you succumb to peer pressure just this once, I swear I won't tell you. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, seriously. <laughs> like, actually. Don't look at me. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, just stop. Ah! I'm sorry, did you, did you 
do it. I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm a little hard at hearing. <laughs> How was it? Good. Yeah? Weird, but good. Did you see that? What? No, you didn't see that? No. No, like right over there. What? What the hell, Andy? What are you thinking about? No? You can cut just oh, Okay, okay, okay. Is this some kind of a ploy? Yes, actually, I planned everything. I went back in time and got your parents together. I'm actually responsible for your existence. You know, I'm not one to be rescued. No? Okay. You prefer to do the rescue? I can just... No, no, Andy, Andy, Andy! Come on! Oh. I thought I was gonna drown there. I thought I could... You do realize we're in the shop. <laughs> My dress is ruined now. No dry. You just died. <laughs> I, w I wouldn't have let that happen. How can you be so sure that you wouldn't have let that happen? Because uh, I can't imagine a world without you. So whose room is this? It's Henry's. He thought he was getting laid tonight. <laughs> He's not here. Well, what if he comes back? Does he have a key? Uh, <laughs> He's still at the party. The guy's on a mission. Poor Henry. <laughs>
Alright. I like what you did with the place. I just expected the end of the night to go a lot different than this. <laughs> Those battles are a little dramatic. You like? I do. Did you see it? Yeah, me too. I won't. <sighs> There's all this wonder. In their eyes. Discovery. That was us. Yeah. Once upon a time. Yeah. I don't care if it's this a horrible cycle where we fight, we make up, we fight. I don't care how many times we have to go through that as long as we get to the part where we make up. My husband spends a lot of time away taking pictures and writing these fascinating stories about people all over the world and he feels alive more alive than when he is with me but i don't appreciate him when he's home and i should try Otherwise known as adjusting expectations for adults. You are the greatest story I have ever known. I'm sorry. Do you remember that um, assignment that I was going to take in South Africa? What did you do? I turned it down. You know, it's just, it's always the story after the next story after the next story. And five years has gone by and I haven't taken a break. But you wanted to do it. There's always another story. I hate you. <laughs> As you've said. Did you do this for me? For us. God, you are such a dork. What will your husband think? I think he's gonna be really upset. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Maybe he'll throw some shit around.
I feel naked. I'm blind now. Precisely. Well, don't look at me. I feel naked. Okay, fine. Close your eyes. God. Are your eyes closed? Yes. Good. Now what? Whoever can't come up with a question loses the game. Why are we playing this game? How else are we going to deal with what just happened? What just happened? Happened. Where were we before we were here? You don't know? Are you trying to make me mad? Didn't I save your life? What are you thinking? Why did you kiss me? Do you want me to kiss you? You lost the game. Okay, I lost the game. Remember that hot dog we buried? What are you talking about? You don't remember? The barbecue at your dad's place when we were like six. Labor Day weekend. Oh my God, that was forever ago. Your mom made us this huge pitcher of pink lemonade. And you drank half of it yourself, you fatty. <laughs> my dad gave you the bigger hot dog. It was probably the biggest hot dog there. It was bigger than your face. No, it was bigger than your face. And you had a pretty big face when you were little, <laughs> like compared to your body. <laughs> I ate like 25% of it. Yeah, but you didn't want to throw it away. Mm, I had a better plan. To bury it. <laughs> you thought it would grow into a hot dog tree. You were into it. No. I remember thinking it was the stupidest thing at the time. We were definitely partners in crime on that one. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, you wanted to plant flowers on our little hot dog grave. Cornelius, like, dug it up 20 minutes later and dropped it at my dad's feet. Cornelius. <laughs> Your dad, what does he do? He, he just picks it up and starts waving it around like a sword and goes, Is this, Is this your so wiener, young, young man? <laughs> so serious. Like, I think I almost cried. You did cry. For, like, an hour. <laughs> you know, it's so funny how you could remember... A hot dog from 10 years ago, but you can't remember what happened yesterday. You were wearing this yellow t-shirt and these ridiculous overalls that were like rolled up 12 times up to your knee. It was green, not yellow. It was yellow, I remember. Because you were doing this whole sailor moon prism thing on me. How do you remember that? When it's quiet, I can remember anything. Well, aren't you cool? Yeah, pretty much. Time's a funny thing. Sometimes, I do this thing. where I cover my eyes and I count down from seven. And when I hit one, I pretend I disappear. You just go away? Yeah. Can I come with you? Six. Five. 
four, three, two, one. We're still here. Shut up. Okay. Nothing happened. Oh, I know. It's written all over your face. I was playing with you. Why are you still here? Reconciling time and space. No, but seriously. Oh, I'm serious. I'm going to Stanford in September. And your girlfriend's staying here? She's not my girlfriend, but yeah. So really, you're asking yourself, is it worth it? I'm not saying it's not worth it. Look, man, I get it. I was you once. You just gotta live. Feel it out. You know, this isn't some giant test. There's nothing to study for, so... There's no right answers. Life's gonna take you a lot of places. Just don't forget the people you love. You know, you're not such a bad guy. You mean I might actually be a nice guy like you? Don't push it. Ah, shit. Who are you talking to out there? Just myself. Weirdo. I'm gonna get that fixed. Just hold on a second. Try it now. <laughs> Holy shit, it works. I fixed it. How did you do that? Well, you see the self-timer and the spring for the shutter are connected, so it wasn't broken, it just was stuck. You just unstuck it, see? I like fixing and building things. If you could build anything, anything at all, what would it be? Promise you won't laugh. I promise. This. Here is the chamber. And inside of it is another one. And basically, all around us are tiny wormholes. They're so small that we can't even see them. But what this machine would be able to do would be to combine those wormholes together to make a big one. So that way, we would be able to push negative energy and atoms from one wormhole to the next, through a universe. So essentially, if, if, if it worked, then we'd be pushing matter through time. Sometimes I wonder how it will come out on the other side. I think we'd still be us, but different. That's amazing. I think everyone's gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> I don't think you're crazy. Well, that's because you're crazy too. It, yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back.
where would you go if, if you could use it? I'd probably go back, tell myself not to worry as much. But let's be real, it'd probably make me worry more. <laughs> It's five minutes to blast off. Let's get out of here. Okay, two seconds. I have to be clothed when we leave. Some would say. Hotel. Okay, buddy. So, are you staying here all summer? Pretty much. You're not gonna you know, ditch LA and go backpack across Europe anyway? <laughs> I don't think so. I'll be here. Maybe you're right. There's something to it. Like, I'll look back and think of this as some magic time. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. <sighs> Do you think they know about us? No, they're too stupid. Hey. What? There are. They're stupid little kids. Okay. How do I look? Stupid. That's not very nice! <laughs> I don't have to go to this journalism program. You, you don't know if she got in. You want to just hang this summer? You've been trying to ask me that one? No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I know you just broke up with Dave, and it's not really. You don't have to hang out with me just because you feel bad for me. Oh, no, no, that's not. That's not why. Um... Okay. Huh? Okay, Let, let's let's hang out this summer. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Great. Excellent. I, I can come over like after the morning practice just at the Jesus, theater to. Okay. Why? Thank you. Okay. Are you ready? Go for it. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. What is this? What did you put in my pocket? Two. One. Mon cher. Tu fais quoi là? Soy, pourquoi tu ne peux pas? Je ne peux pas le dire parce que pour moi, si tu n'étais pas là, je serais pire. À chaque moment, je pense à toi en me réveillant. Tu sais quoi? J'espère qu'un jour tu seras là, à côté de moi et dans mes bras. À chaque moment, je pense à toi et dans mes rêves, tu es là. Je suis dans tes bras et tu es seulement à moi. Je suis folle de toi Mais t'es la paille, je suis là Ce n'est plus mes rêves Alors je t'attends Je t'attends Alors je t'attends Alors je t'attends Alors je t'attends Je t'attends 
À chaque moment je pense à toi En me réveillant tu sais quoi J'espère qu'un jour tu seras là À côté de moi et dans mes bras À chaque moment je pense à toi Et dans mes rêves tu es là Je suis dans tes bras Et tu es seulement à moi À chaque moment je pense à toi En me réveillant tu sais quoi J'espère qu'un jour tu seras là à côté de moi et dans mes bras À chaque moment je pense à toi Et dans mes rêves tu es là Je suis dans tes bras Et tu es seulement à moi Mon cher, tu fais quoi là Souris